Starting the day off with an assembly isn't unheard of for these Calgary area high school students, but they are about to make a quantum leap from the routine of their daily school lives. First of all, we're going to give you $50 million. Okay? And with that stunning announcement, 150 grade 11 and 12 students have become the proud owners of their own petroleum exploration companies. It's really complex, I guess, and it's amazing how much work you have to do to find oil and you might not even get it. It's mostly luck at the end. It's all part of the first oil sim competition held in North America. These teams of students play an online game to launch an oil and gas firm. The goal is to create the most profitable operation. We've never been in a situation to teach oil and gas in a hands-on, simulated environment. And what they're learning in these two days probably takes a, a full semester course, oftentimes, to teach. From surveying and land leasing to drilling and farming agreements, these students are learning that they don't have to be aspiring engineers and geologists to be in the oil and gas biz. There is also a big demand for budding business managers. There's a great career to be had from this energy asset management side that includes operations accounting, production accounting, surface land, mineral land, contracts land, well asset management, joint ventures. There's a career to be had in those other areas that are very operationally focused. Oil Sim has been held in a number of European countries since 2002. The Center for Energy Asset Management Studies, or SEAMS, is the nonprofit industry group that helped to bring Oil Sim to Calgary just in time for the launch of a two-year energy asset management program at the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. The diploma program is now accepting applications for enrollment next September, and an expanded program is already in the works. It will be continuing on to an applied degree of which students will choose a discipline within three streams at this point in time after they complete the diploma. One will be energy accounting, the other one will be from a land joint venture perspective, well asset management would be the third stream, and then after the kids complete a third year of studies, there will be a paid full-time work term for the last year. SEAMS is forecasting a shortage of 2,000 energy asset managers in Alberta over the coming decade. A critical number given the challenges that industry faces. Today, these students are getting a taste of those challenges. Today we've had a lot of oil spills which taken away a lot of money and a lot of accidents which you can't really fix. For Mackay McGilvery and his team, the goal is to move from third place to first and to win top prize of an iPod. For organizers, the goal is to make oil sim an ongoing event. Uh, ideally, we might coax Nate into uh, participating as well, and we could have this whole Alberta rivalry thing building up between the two schools all playing the same game. Um, we could also, I think, build in elements of this game because it is fairly sophisticated into our curriculum. And one day, the winners of this competition could compete in the international oil sim held every year in London. Reporting in Calgary for Oil Week, I'm Byron Chu.